Okay, y'all, what's up? We back. We back like we never left. Hello, hi, hi, hello. Um, so in, in my previous video, excuse me, I talked about the hashtag Black Lives Matter. And the my opinion of the meaning behind Black Lives Matter, which we know was started after Trayvon Martin was killed by George Zimmerman, and how a hashtag essentially turned into a movement. Um, but to me, I the ha it's the hashtag for me. There's so much controversy around Black Lives Matter, the movement, the global global network, the foundation. It's <clears throat> especially the original movement in itself. And then you got the situation with Patrice. And it's it's a whole shit storm. Like it's a whole mess. And from somebody who has a nonprofit that was founded five years ago that is a 501c3 registered nonprofit organization. I have been asked multiple times my opinion on it. I've had people email me to do interviews on why they feel like or or why do I feel like board of directors or presidents or founders are not held accountable for things like fraud, which of course came from Patrice. So I'm calling this girl Patrice like I know her for real. Anyway, and so why I don't agree with it, now you have different chapters of Black Lives Matter, right? So if you go to the IRS website and you do a 501c3 search you'll and type in Black Lives Matter, it's so many things that'll pop up. So you have different chapters, like Black Lives Matter Houston. Now, my aunt is a part of uh, BLM HTX. Do I feel like they're doing work in the, in the Houston community? Yes. As a BLM chapter, then I feel like they do. <clears throat> However, I don't agree with the fact that they're not associated with Black Lives Matter publicly. If you go to the Black Lives Matter website, if you have these chapters in different cities, because I don't, at this point, I don't even know the setup of Black Lives Matter. It, I don't, I'm confused. <laughs> like, I'm confused. If you go to the TrumpMovement.org right now, you're going to see me, you're going to see my team, you're going to see our kids, you're going to see how to donate. You're going to see all of the information for the Trump Movement. If you go to the Black Lives Matter website, because I've been to it multiple times, whether it was years ago, whether it was recently, they don't have enough information for me. Like, you got news about shop, donate. I need more. I need more. I'm confused. Like, and then even if you have chapters, why are your chapters not on the website? Because if the trouble movement was to have chapters right now, right, then I would definitely have my chapters on my main website. I would have websites for each chapter, and then I'd have my chapters on my website. I would be supporting my chapters. So that's, that's why I don't agree with the actual global network or the movement or the organization of Black Lives Matter. Then a lot of people say, you know, when you hit donate, it takes you to Ag Blue Charities. Ag Blue Charities is a 501c3 third party organization that takes donations on behalf of other nonprofits. Now, when you go to the Trouble Movement website and you click donate, it's going to take you to what's called donor box because... Well, most people don't understand from a financial aspect, you do have to have some type of platform that's going to collect the money for you, whether it's PayPal, Stripe, Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, DonorBox, uh, mobile calls. It, it's so many out there where you have to have some type of payment platform. But Ag Blue is a charity in itself. Ag Blue is a 501c3 versus with DonorBox, what we use it's just a payment processor. We get all of the funds. They take a little small fee out of it, but we get all the monies. And if the donor opts to pay for the fee, then we get all of their donation. It's no 40%, we don't no 30%. We don't pay for it. It's free. It's a processing system just like Stripe, Square, everything else. That's different. I don't know what y'all doing. I'm not donating to that shit. I would much rather, me personally, and y'all know me, so me personally, I would much rather create my own movement and help black lives in my way, which I actually do, so I feel like I have the right to say what I'm saying. I would rather do that than donate to something that confuses me, because when I donate to something, I need to know exactly where my money going, what you doing for the community, what's going to be the outcome. I, I, I got questions. 
<laughs> I got questions because I guarantee you right now, if Warren Buffett was to come to the Trump movement and give me $90 million, baby, y'all see every point, every process, every, anything, except for the confidential stuff, some stuff you cannot release. Y'all would, it'd be a camera following me around everywhere I go. I would build a community center. I'm a blogger, first of all. So y'all gonna see every moment. Y'all already see damn near every moment of my life anyway. Baby, it's going to be a camera following me around. I want y'all to know where the money go, where we at, where we going, what community we in. I want you to know everything. I'm going to be the most transparent. If you go on the website right now, you'll see tax returns. You'll see letters. You'll see everything. All of our partners, all of our sponsors, all of our donors, all that. Because I don't want anybody to question what the Trump movement is doing with their money. Because I got questions as to what y'all doing with y'all money. Because I'm not seeing no change. I'm not seeing a change in the community. I need, I need more. I need more. And then you have chapters from different cities that are actually complaining that BLM doesn't fund them, doesn't give them any type of money. If you're going to have your name attached to something, you now it's said that they got $90 million. Baby, if you got $90 million, it ain't no reason why you shouldn't be giving money to your chapters. It ain't no reason why you shouldn't be giving money to people who are even within the Black Lives Matter network. Now, again, I'm not in these people organization by any means. It ain't no clear information out there because you literally would have to be within the network to understand fully what's going on. And even some people in the network don't know what's going on. And that can't, my board of directors, is they know everything. My team members don't know everything that my board of directors know because that is that some stuff again is confidential. That's up to the board of directors to decide on. But we are very transparent people. And at any point in time, donors have the right to request financial statements because on the Act Blue website, it says if you would like to request financial statements, please email such and such. I don't even need all that. Baby, just go on the website and pull it up. <laughs> like, just pull it up. It's there. It's there. I'm an accountant. We get our shit done correctly. Pull it up. Don't You ain't even got a request for it. Just go on and pull it up because I don't want no issues. I want you to know what we spending our money on. When we apply for grants, we got pie charts. We have different funds. We have the Randy Evans Survivor Fund. Well, if we raise money for that specific fund, that's what that money is going to go to. It's going to go to survivors, abuse victims, all that. If you give to the teenagers, it's going to go directly to the teenagers. If you give to the education program, it's going to go to scholarships and the education program. You get to decide what you want to donate to. If you donate to general expenses, it's going to go to overhead. I don't agree with the movement. I don't agree with the organization because I don't see a change. I don't see anything really happening for y'all to have this caliber of money. There's small nonprofits like mine who wish they had that kind of money. Do you know, like I literally, if I didn't feel like, I don't feel like taking y'all off the tripod. I have a whole vision board over there of things that I want for TTM. I want a community center. I want a school. I want a house because I've had kids run away before and have nowhere to go. I want a house. I want the T3 house. I have an actual model house because I want these kids to have somewhere safe to go. I want a 24 hour community center. I want to create trouble movement in different cities. There's so many ideas. I want to create a program for single mothers. Like if you come to me and give me that kind of money, I have so many plans that are already written down. Like you can ask anybody. I got so many ideas, so many things I want to change so many impacts I want to make, but it's hard for us to get our hands on that type of money. So for you to have that caliber of money and I'm not seeing the change out that run me the wrong way. That rubbed me the wrong way. <clears throat> because you can have a mission statement that sounds beautiful saying you fighting for black lives and fighting against white supremacy and all that. It's, it's just a mission statement. I need to see it. Because you've even had parents of, like, uh, Michael Brown Sr. 
He wants money from Black Lives Matter right now. You have parents of these, of those that have died, that we hashtag Michael Brown, um, George Floyd, all of them, where the families didn't get anything from Black Lives Matter. Like, we don't get no representation, can we? no donations. We, we got to do GoFundMes. But y'all want to use our loved ones or our kids' names to push y'all agenda. No. I don't, I don't, no. I can't agree with that. I can't agree. I won't say it's racist. Now, a lot of people are like, it's a racist organization, blah, blah, blah. I, I can't say that. I'm not going to say it's racist. I'm not going to say, first of all, I hate politics. I don't get into politics. It gives me a headache just even thinking about it. Like, I... I vote. I just don't. All the politics and the arguing and the, you yeah, know, that ain't, that ain't my ministry. Um, I, I just want to see change. Like I, I, I'm an action person. What, what are you doing? Like I need to see some, some type of, y'all, I, I don't see y'all. I don't see y'all. It took us forever to figure out who the hell was in charge of the Black Lives Matter. <laughs> like we didn't even know that. You Google the Trump movement right now, you will see my face. Like, it was very well known. And the trouble movement started as a hashtag. I kid y'all not. Hashtags are powerful. That's how the trouble movement started. Because after the book, I knew it was going to be a movement. I knew what I wanted in my mind. I knew I wanted to change the lives of teenagers. That's why I kept saying it's going to be a movement. It's going to be a movement. And it became a movement based on a hashtag. But y'all know who started it. Y'all know who in it. Y'all know the kids that are in it. Y'all can go to any platform. Y'all can Google it. It's there. So you are you know what we're doing. I make it a point. Like if we go too long without posting on social media, I go to I go to Christian or I was going to say my vice president, like y'all know Christian. And be like, you know, I don't want people to think that we just, you know, doing bullshit with their money. Like, I want them to know we're actually doing stuff with their money. We're actually doing stuff with these kids and in the community. And we ain't posted a picture in a while. And so I feel like we need to, like, you know, show them what's really going on. Like, I start panicking because I never want anybody to blame me or the Trump movement for stealing money or doing something with it they ain't supposed to be doing. I need people to know that this money is actually going to something. One of our biggest donors, honorary founder, Dave McMahon, we took, he donated money specifically for like goodie bags for our kids. Well, we gave them essential items, put stuff together. I recorded the whole thing. Us putting the bags together, we bought the stuff, everything. And I sent it to him because I wanted him to know this is where your money went. It's footage of us giving it to the kids. I want, I want to be transparent because I don't want shit like this to happen. I don't agree with this because I feel like y'all not making a big enough change for you to have that. Now, do I know again what's going on behind the scenes? No, but I don't feel like y'all doing enough for the caliber of money that y'all got. I feel like that about every big organization, honestly. You know, maybe I'll have a better understanding of it when the church movement get bigger, but probably not because I know what's going to happen when the church movement get bigger. I know who I am as a person that founded this organization. This organization is rooted in my heart and in my life. But these big organizations that get this money, and I just turned this and went into a whole nother rant, but they get this money over the small ones. I don't see nothing. I don't see y'all out there working. But the Trouble Movement, the Butterfly Project, New Perspective Development, the small nonprofits in Houston that are actually doing stuff. During Hurricane Harvey, everybody came together and adopted families and raised donations and money and clothes and everything for victims of Hurricane Harvey. You can go on the website right now. I had somebody comment on a YouTube video that I posted during Hurricane Harvey giving motivation and talking about how we were going to raise money to give to these families. And they commented, thank you for giving us positivity in the storm and actually doing something about it. And I don't post stuff for recognition. I post it to be transparent. I post it because I want people to know, like, we really out here doing this. But then you give money to all these foundations and big brothers, big sisters and all this other stuff. 
But what are they doing though? Besides going to the Houston Food Bank and giving out food. Besides doing toy drives during Christmas. What change are you making? I've had mentors, people come to me that used to be in Big Brothers, Big Sisters or Boys and Girls Club or whatever and specifically tell me that what's going on on the inside ain't the same. You can see the heart that was put into this. I can't see the heart that was put into Black Lives Matter, the movement. I, I can't, it, I, don't, I don't agree with it. I don't feel like it's specifically our movement. For it to have the name that it has, I don't feel like it's specifically our movement. Do I agree with the hashtag? Do I agree with the meaning behind Black Lives Matter? Yes. And I already said why in the previous video. I just don't agree with the movement. I don't agree with the organization because I feel like they should be doing more. And you can look at some of the... Now, I'm not going to do no investigation and all that. I'm not going to turn this into a conspiracy. Again, people, you know, I've been asked to do interviews on situations like the one Patrice had. But, which is, I can't do that. Because I know what it's like to be a founder or a president and to be on the inside. And then you have situations like fraud happening. Not fraud ain't never happening in TTM. But I'm just saying, as a founder and president, I can speak on that. And it's, what she did was wrong. That's a whole other video in itself. <laughs> like, it's a whole, that shit was illegal. I don't give a fuck how you put it. I don't care how you name it and claim it. It's, it's a lot of details behind that. Like, it's it's a whole lot of research involves a lot of details. Like, it's a lot behind that. So I can't just hop on here and be like, she stole money. I mean, listen. Do I feel like she did? Yep. But that, again, a whole nother video. That ain't my, that ain't my business. <laughs> like, that ain't my, if it ain't the Trump movement, that ain't my business. But what I am going to voice my opinion on is the fact that I don't agree with this organization. Again, hold on though. Black Lives Matter Houston doing work in the community. They, there are little, in the chap, some of the chapters will tell you, you can actually Google this, that they don't get money from Black Lives Matter, the foundation or the global network. Cause apparently the Black Lives Matter global network and the Black Lives Matter foundation are two totally different things. Like, why is it so much going on? Why is it so Black Lives Matter? The confusion. What's the difference between the global network and the foundation? Like why y'all website looks like trash? If, if, first of all, if you got $90 million, why your website look like that? I'm offended because I made our website and our shit pretty dope. I got to toot my own horn. It's a lot of information on our website. Why y'all shit three pages? I'll wait. Even the one for Houston, I feel like it. Why y'all website look like that? Like, can we, more information? I. Like, I almost damn near want to do it for y'all. <laughs> like, whoever did this, is no, fire them. I don't like it. Like, why y'all website look like that? I don't like it. Fix it. It don't have enough information. I'm confused. It's nothing on there that tells me what are y'all doing in the community. Y'all ain't got no pictures, no videos. Y'all got some blogs on there. Okay. I need to see some action. I need information. I need team members. I need donors. I need sponsors, sponsors, partners, reports. I need all that. It ain't on there. Y'all, it ain't no way y'all should have that much money. Y'all shit three pages. That's why I can't agree with it. I can't agree with it because I work too damn hard. Me and my team work too damn hard for y'all shit to look like this, and y'all got all y'all all that money. And yet and still, nothing's happening. I, I need to, see, but other than y'all doing interviews, I need to see, I need to see some action. I done damn near did more than y'all. Now the different chapters in the different cities, they have their own thing. They doing their own thing. The one in Houston, again, my auntie is a part of BLM HTX. So I've actually seen the work that they've done in the Houston community. But this whole organization, this whole movement, that's how the controversy started. That's why people have formed these opinions about Black Lives Matter and they're confusing the hashtag with the organization. And that's where the issue comes in. 
the hashtag and the organization are not the same thing. The meaning behind Black Lives Matter the same is not the same thing as Black Lives Matter the movement and the organization. I don't know. Because I can use Black Lives Matter all day. And you that's why in all my videos you hear me say, Black Lives Matter, I fight for Black Lives Matter, not the movement. That's why I always say that. Because the two are different. The two have different meanings. I don't fuck with the organization. I don't. If you don't like it, oh well, I don't give a shit. But as far as the actual meaning behind Black Lives Matter, that I can agree with. Because black lives do matter and we need to keep stressing the fact that black lives matter. Chow. Again, that turned into a whole rant, but whatever. <laughs> I'll give a shit. I said what I said. Said what I had to say. I got it off my chest. I feel much better now. <sighs> That's why you just, just donate to the true movement and quit playing. <laughs> like, yeah. Just throw that to the drum movement and quit playing. Like, come on and give me, give me all that coin, y'all. I'm, baby. The Lord gonna bless us with that kind of money one day, and and when y'all see what I do with it, like y'all not behind the scenes on a lot of stuff. And I literally have fifty pages worth of plans, business plans. I done drew out a whole blueprint of community centers and houses that I want. Like, the Lord gonna bless us one day with that kind of money, and y'all gonna see what I do with it. And I'm gonna come back to this video, and I'm gonna repost it like, didn't I tell y'all? If, if you don't believe me, you better ask somebody. <laughs> you, better, you better ask somebody. And we got a documentary coming soon, too, because I want to do that. That's going to be fun. I want to do something the kids going to enjoy. I want to do something the kids going to have fun with. Like, it's all about the kids for me. It's always been about the kids for me for the past five years and even before that. It's about the kids for me. That is what I care about. Because I'd be damned if I let these kids go through what I went through. I'd be damned if I went through hell and back and don't do nothing to fight against it. It's no way. It's no way. God put me through that for a reason. And that reason is what I'm doing right now. So I be damned if I don't take what happened to me to help change the lives of other people. Especially teenagers because I wish I would have had somebody like me when I was that age. I wouldn't have made half the decisions that I made. I wouldn't have went through half the shit that I went through. So, baby, pull that video up. That ain't even on their damn website. Shit, I got a whole testimony video on it. Let me quit. Because <laughs> I'm not going to stop. And we already had 23 minutes. Anyway, y'all, um, <clears throat> I'll meet y'all in the comments. If y'all watch it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Again, this is my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. Opinions are like assholes. So, that's just how I feel about it. You can feel how you want to feel about it. <clears throat> again i finally said you know what i had been wanting to say and what people been asking me to talk about speak on it whatever like how do i feel about it so that's that on that and we will be back with another one so until next time other than donating to the trouble movement i will see y'all next time bye